what is up? This is Mark Spoke with Geeks Under Grace, and I'm here with a game that I had been anticipating for a little while now, Airheart, Tales of Broken Wings. It is an indie game. Of course, you saw the logo at the beginning by Blind Flug Studios, published by the same. It is, to my surprise, a roguelike. Like, not rogue light, which is a lot, um, the genre that a lot of people get wrong. Like, Rogue Legacy is a rogue light. Bl Binding of Isaac is a rogue light. Rogue light are games that are like rogue likes in that they somewhat simulate permadeath, but over time, you unlock new items that you couldn't unlock in previous runs you have abilities that you didn't have in previous runs so that eventually you should be able to beat the game. This game, to, I found out, um, crushed me. Like, I crash landed. <laughs> and it deleted everything. It said, game over. You crashed and burned, son. Yeah, that sucked. So, that's when I found out it was a rogue like Rogue likes are games that are like the original game called Rogue, where you did have permadeath. Whereas if you invested hours into the game and you died, that was it. You had to start all over. So you're five hours into the game, you go start back to the ground zero. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and launch, and I can explain how the game works. Now, some of this stuff I don't understand, like this fish meter. Um, I got an achievement. Hold on. New adventure begins today. I can catch that sky whale no matter the cost. Wherever he is, I know I'll make father proud. So I love the country accent. It reminds me of being at home in Alabama. The game recommends that you use a um, controller, but keyboard and mouse is just fine. So you can catch fish. I don't know what this thing is for. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what it's for. I don't know what it does. It has little airplane and dollar sign, airplane symbols and dollar signs. I don't know that. I do know that, um, hmm, random things. You can actually outfish. So you're a sky fisher. And you use your harpoon and you run into fish to collect them, to collect the oil, which you'll go back and sell to upgrade your ship to so it can fly faster stronger now the trick to this game or the gimmick behind it is um let me get out of these fish so i can concentrate yeah so it's shooting at something is that a bad guy then is this a bad guy zeppelin no it's not so the police start coming why are the police out at me it looked like it was a bad guy zeppelin Because there was a green ship that was flying near it. I don't know. All right, well, I'm just going to go up to the second floor because I don't know. So, yeah, each floor, the game gets more difficult. And that screen shaking, man. They got to fix that. So, yeah, here are the actual bad guys, which you can hook onto and shoot. Um, items uh, collected. Are for crafting and so eventually you get bigger stronger stuff I think I have not lived long enough so here is something interesting that that looks like a health pack but it's apparently a fish that looks like health and when you run into it it takes half your hit points I actually got the game over by trying to collect one of those so you gotta look for the actual health there and so this is the idea behind every floor. Like you you fly around collecting fish. Hmm. Oh, it won't activate because uh oh, because I caught a random fish. So there's something blocking this. Oh, the bad guy. Oh, so I can't actually latch on to him. That's interesting. Yeah, you start with this basic gun. I upgraded to a machine gun before I died, but of course I died, so I lost it. But it's a much better weapon than this one-shotter. 
though uh, trying to hook up to someone. So, oh, okay, it's a temporary bonus weapon. Yeah, they can run into the walls too. Run into the mount like these cliff caverns. I don't like this weapon, it's imprecise. What else is out here? Oh yeah, that's that same fish thing. You know, I'm gonna take it with me and see what happens. Can it can it come with me? Nope. Okay, this is what people were talking about on the message board. I did visit the message boards because I was wondering about that health because I was that killed me. So they're saying sometimes this stuff is too close to the wall, but they just need to bring it out. Just need to collect it like that. I don't think I don't think there's a problem with the health being too close to the wall if they give you a mechanic to collect it. I did mention something about out uh, overfishing. Yes, that happens too. Um, I got an achievement on my first run. I was like, I'm gonna get all these fish in this level and it gave me like a Dead Sea Achievement or something like that. And it's like you overfished the level. There goes no, there goes that uh, dead that fish fake fish health thing again I was like man and it said you will net like the fish won't come back which I'm not sure is true. I Feel like I came back to those floors again, and the fish was still there so there's a little arrow at the top of my screen that's letting me know where to go to go up. Okay, that's nice. But I haven't finished this floor yet. Oops, you don't want to shoot the fish, you want to catch the fish. Okay, that's a lot of direct hits. That fish, that, did you see that? That health thing was flying around. There it is. It's moving. Right there. I didn't, I've never seen it move before. So there's a cop plane chasing this dude around. You can swing them around into mountains too um, to kill them faster if you can catch them with their harpoon mechanic. Got him. Where's the other one? Uh, oh, that's a big one. Mid boss or something like that. Oh, that hurt. Where'd he go? Did I blow him up that fast? So I'm gonna go up one more floor because that's the highest floor I've been to before dying. Like, I kept trying to collect that. Oh, I kept trying. Oh, there he is. Or oh, there's one of them. Yeah, you gotta watch that friendly fire. There's a lot of friendly fire that goes on in this game. Oh, I've got a temporary super weapon. Okay. That stupid fish. I appreciate that this game handles very well. Air heart. So I haven't been to I've been this is the farthest I've been in a game, the farthest floor. Um while I was still on my first run learning the mechanics. So you can swing so you can swing them around like that. But I don't have any walls to bring them on. So he's a, this one's immune to harpooning. So 
you might have noticed in the hangar, there's like scrap and all that kind of stuff. That's a weird looking fish. It reminds me of Galaga. Like uh, in the bonus stages, like this little thing that looked like a sucker or a lollipop or something. I'm not going to worry about chasing them down though. Uh, sometimes I like to grapple the wall to get better control of... Ah, so yeah, you gotta beat the boss to go to the next floor. Which, the boss is hard, of course. Oh. See, like, now I'm hooked up to it with the harpoon. So I don't go too far. I actually have never, oh, that's a rocket in the face. All right, so now that it tells me I need to go home before I crash, I'm gonna go out here, right, the R key. Autopilot, huh? So I'm gonna go back home, and the idea is like some, if you played mobile games, um, on my next run, I should be able to go farther. So, that's nice. I like that. So we're gonna continue. I like the melody of this game too. Fish. Achievement unlock. Fish. Okay, what does that mean? I gotta look into my achievements now. You fish for a total value of a thousand. That's a decent amount of cash to start a real adventure. So that run alone, I just um <laughs> I just like did the basic stuff required in the game for the first time. Now let me look, look let me look at something else. Um, just trying to see where we are in time. Eleven minutes have passed by already, huh? So in the hangar is where you, where you um, look at your different things. But I haven't uh, bought anything yet. So here, for example, this is the machine gun that I bought last time. Fire rates high, low damage. Damage moderate. Dual harpoon. Oh. Shrapnel, Sky Sweeper, Chaos Rocket. Oh, and then there are more things that are more expensive. Huh. Well, I'm just going to go with a basic machine gun. This has a one on it. You can buy two. Interesting. All right. Then you can go to other things and buy additional chassis. Ability slow down gas, weaponry, one weapon, fish radar. That sounds interesting, fish radar. I didn't even notice this stuff um, the first time I was looking because I didn't make enough money to even look at it really hard. So yeah, for the purposes of this, um, oh, agil increases your agility, but you only have one weapon. So for the purposes of just quick scope, I'll just buy this. Um, look at the workbench. Now, these will tell you if you get something wrong or not. For example, if I try to craft this, see the, down here you'll see where it'll tell you that you got three things right, you got one thing right, two things wrong, and so on. And it's like a puzzle, you gotta figure it out. So I'm going to get rid of gunpowder and just have the three things right, go with that. And I get a metal box and that creates a new tier of crafting. I hate crafting. <laughs> You'll never see me say, yeah, well, I won't say never. There's, there's a game that I played before that said, you know what? I hate crafting, but I understand this system. I have to remember what that is though. I don't remember the game. Oh. So with machinery, it's the last ingredient to something. So, hmm, let's try three gunpowder and one machinery. Okay, two gunpowder and one machinery. Hmm. Oh, I don't know what the machinery does, it looks like. Oh, I already did that. 
Um, how about two gunpowder and a pipe? How about oh, how about two pipes and machinery? Nope. So yeah, apparently like you can invent a machine gun, but why would you create a machine gun? Is that because I bought two of them and it, so it reveals the recipe to make one? In case you don't want to buy it in a future run or something? And see, that's the thing. Like, uh, I haven't crashed and burned twice, so I don't know if it repopulates these recipes or not. Yeah, so... Um, so I would have to die on purpose again, which I don't want to do, to see if... Uh, to test the theory of a true roguelike or not. So, my first weapon is the machine gun, and then I bought another engine, and see, it actually changes, or it's supposed to. Oh, the propeller changed, but the, oh yeah, I didn't buy the chassis, but I can buy the part. So to buy the chassis, you, you get, in, so look, the fish population, there are two, there are three layers of bars. See, it's empty here, it's gray here, and it's white here. I don't know what that means. So I see that there's like these little octopus things or squids and stuff. I'm not sure what they do besides color the area. Um, don't know what the friendly biplane does. I, I don't know. I don't know. So that's another thing. You got to wait till a bunch of people play the game and start making their guides and all that kind of stuff. Um, for demonstration purposes, that's the difference in the machine gun. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, I think the T key changes weapons, but I think uh, with this engine, I only have one gun. And here's another thing. I don't remember where the uh, next uh, level floor is. On the bottom right, I think. If I, if I am remembering correctly. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, so the sky layer. Um, portal, remembering where that is would be helpful. So he can get wrecked. And um, I think these things regenerate when you come back, which would be appropriate for a roguelike for enemies to regenerate when you come back. Now it's supposed to get easier supposed to get harder all these turrets suicide dude yeah you can calm down with that and now I have to remember where the uh, zeppelin was the boss zeppelin that's a wall. Oh, that said zero? Hmm. Hey, where that boss zeppelin at? <laughs> the other plane collected my fish. Rude. I guess that, yeah, I did collect, I did take zero damage. It's like they're starting to hunt me now. I'm minding my own business, trying to figure out how to get to the next floor. Oh, minigun. I definitely need to uh, do something with this. Got him. Yeah, sometimes you pick up temporary weapons. Alright, next floor. I couldn't find a Zeppelin. I guess it wasn't up here. I don't know what the zero out of four stars is. I don't know what that means either. The challenges of playing a brand new game. Yeah, so Earhart is out. Usually I'm doing um, quick scopes 
there are games that aren't out yet or they're in early access I should say this game is fully released so if you're interested in it if it looks interesting to you um, go check it out on Steam There you go. And it has its, its, oh, that's my controller. So I still have a controller plugged up even though I'm not using it. So now I can shoot them up, light them up, light them up. Although it's useful to um, kill the things that are killing you first, like these turrets out here. And any other enemy planes. Yep. <laughs> I gotta go run home with my tails between my legs already. I don't know how far outside of that zone you can land so that you don't die. 340 um, money. Cloudy Roads, what does that mean? I got another achievement. What does Cloudy Roads mean? You return home safely three times. Well done for making these calls. <laughs> the game says, yo, don't be staying there longer than you need to. Get in, get out. So it could be kind of grindy. What's the second weapon? Bolt cannon, machine gun? Oh, I can't, I can't change that. Oh yeah, you don't get a second weapon with this engine, I don't think. But some you can. Hold on. Oh, my default engine is faster than the one that gets slow down gas, which I don't know how to use the slow down gas. I guess I could go to options and look at my controls. Uh, so yeah, they got a patch this location mission instead of location missing. Um, I know that's not right. Real in switch weapon Paul. So oh, special ability is space bar. Okay. Alrighty then. I will remember that next time. How many minutes am I on this run? I'm at 22 minutes. All right. So we only have eight more. Let me see if I can take. No, excuse me. Take out this biplane in eight minutes. If I can remember where the next floor. And that's the thing. Like, oh, where's that next floor thing? I know this one's at the bottom right, and I think the one after that is in the top left. Yeah, they gotta do that something about that screen shaking. I don't really like it. Like, I get what they're doing, but it's not smooth. It's not a smooth shake. It's more like a chaotic shake. Like it's unintended. Like... I'm gonna fly right through all this. There it is. And I think this one is toward the center of the map. Um, bottom center. Man, all these fish, so tempting. All right, so something like a turret like this, you gotta use your, your grappling hook to take armor. I took that weapon off first. But it can be destroyed. I wanna destroy this plane first. Boom! That's what I was saying. Like, uh, you can use um, in the environment not only for friendly fire, but also. What is he doing? Not only for friendly fire, but to destroy other units. Alright, let's see if we take some shields off. Yep, there we go. One, two. Do you really have to take all of them off? I took all of them off, so let's see. Yep, that worked. All right, back to mission. Stupid fish. Uh, yeah, the biplane's right over there, but I wanted to take out some more enemies because I was getting bombarded by support fire. So let's reduce the map first of some enemies. Oh, I ran into them anyway. So 
so. Oh yeah, those turrets. So many turrets. Yep, you can die. Come on, man. Ace pilot here. Coming through. All right. Uh, yeah, there was at least one other turret. I think there's another turret. Yep, there it is. Is that plane crashing and burning? Yep, or trying to. Stupid pirates. Why are the police out here? They better not be after me. Am I shooting too many planes down? Whoops. Why are the police chasing me, man? You got the wrong guy. Police are shooting at me. I don't know why. What did I do? Yeah, you can tell this is a boss floor. Look at all these enemies everywhere. Plus the police. Dang. I'm not even going to be able to fight the boss. What is this? A laser? Yo, it is. Take that. Oh no. No, nah, I'm going to hang in there this time. Yeah, I feel like if I take one more hit, I'm going to go crashing. Got it. Oh. Oh, the Zeppelin is the achievement. But I'm going to go immediately back down. Because I don't have any health. Yep, coming back home. Where is it? I don't have any health. All right, we're home. I earned more fish on my first run than I did any other future run. Um, that's a lot of scrap. To the place. All right, what do all these achievements mean? Um, let's see. Lots of achievements. Okay. To the cloudy road safely. Oh, to the plane you return home from Autumn Forest. These pirates are scary. Okay. To yoink you destroyed an enemy turret, harpooning it out of the ground, destroying it instantly. Oh, I should do that more often. You smashed a harpooned pirate against a rock to destroy him. Savage. Okay. 
Um, yeah, that's actually fun. Actual fishing. You brought home a fish attached to your harpoon. It's good to know you master your craft. What is the latest one? Ace pilot, you've reached Autumn Forest with just your Pinty Canary. That's a true statement to roaming among the pirates with your starting plane. So, uh, how many achievements are in this game? 42? Alright, so I still have a lot of stuff to figure out. Um, well, at least they know I'm, they're telling me I'm on the right path. I still can't afford much. Is this the default plane? I don't feel like it. What was that? What was the one else? Yeah, your Pinty Canary. This is the plane I want. I want the jet. None of this propeller business. <laughs> None of that propeller stuff. Although this one is, I guess, the top tier stuff. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably go with the Corsair. Guardian. Gaddy Horizon. Talon. And the Woodpecker. But of course, you got to upgrade other things like... For example, I want like hit points. More hit points will be nice. So yeah, let's do that. Let's go back to our hangar with a new chassis and see how it how it doesn't match now. Oh, it's like a helicopter looking thing. Oh, I know I really don't like it now. Let me look at the stats. Oh, it's less mass but more hit points. Got it. But it does have a fish radar. Let's see what that fish radar does. I can always like come back down. So I know that the button is space bar. Oh, it just happens. It's automatic that they have all the fish on the side of the screen like that. I'm cool with this. But of course, you don't want to overfish, otherwise you'll get that achievement that you killed everything. Alright, I'm coming back home. I ha Yeah, I, I said I crashed and burned before, which means you can miss coming back home. Workbench. New pyrotechnic, so explosives. Alright, do I have enough gunpowder? How do you craft? No, that's the wrong button. X. Got it. So I have four pyrotechnics. Nope. All of that is wrong. <laughs> Let's see all the things you got right. Oh, you can craft more than. Oh, man. Uh, so, I guess that's something you got to mess around with. Craft. If you like crafting, go ahead. But, um, yeah, you got a lot of recipes to try to figure out. If, according to this screen right here. All your inventions. Good luck with that. I'm sure they're, they're working on a mini fact right now. A mini guide on Steam. For people who want to try to figure that stuff out. I'm not one of them. Um, but yeah, I'll keep playing. Um, so, interesting game, Airheart here. You can uh, look at your different cinematics. So, I guess, so I am Amelia. Amelia Earhart. <laughs> yeah, so if you hadn't figured that out by now, I kind of I worry about you, but um, bless your heart. I'm Amelia is the intro, getting a license is a tutorial which I skipped, into spring is the start of the first level, early fall is where we just left off, going up to the next tier. So I guess down here is another three tiers, another three tiers, another three tiers, then maybe the ending or um, the developers are still working on um, the next part. So yeah, so Blind Flug Studios, this is an early access game. Um, Earhart. So let me start over. Mari Spogue. 
This is Earhart Quickscope by Blind Flug Studios. Um, as I already mentioned, it is on Steam available now. It is not early access. It is a fully fledged game. And it is available right now for um, $13.49. It's on sale, 10% lot sale. So if you're interested, you can grab onto it. It's regularly priced uh, $14.99. So yeah, this is Mario's Poe with Geeks on the Grace.